Alright, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. We're here again in Medav, as usual, <laughs> as per our custom. Last episode, Lucian and company finally succeeded in clearing out that trap forest near Rising. What a terrible place that was. <laughs> very, very deadly. A lot of explosives, a lot of acid sprayers, a lot of just nasty stuff. But, yeah, we he did it. And as you remember, if you, oh, as you may remember, we also replaced all our fallen claw bugs, plated bugs, I guess, with battle alphas. So we are now much more powerful. We got some pretty good gear there, some infiltrator gear. I think we got the infiltrator shield, if I'm not mistaken, which is really nice. It goes with the infiltrator's cloak and I don't know the gloves or whatever it is. So if you need some boost to your leadership and mechanics, you can get it through those items. It can be used so that you don't have to raise your you know, leadership and, and mechanics skill as much and use those points else in other areas, which is pretty helpful at times. But let's go back to Fort Muck and sell these gems to Hawk. Oh, there he is, the man of the hour, or the moment, anyways. The man of the moment. I have some gemstones to sell you. Alrighty. Woohoo, yeah. We have 4,000 coins. Is that a hostile? Yes, that is hostile. Get him. Alrighty. And that was it. No special furs, though. We do have Frostfang here, and we have this Cryoa. I was thinking we should rename this Cryoa. What should we call... <laughs> How about... No. Crisis. <laughs> oh, it's not funny, but you know, whatever. There's Crisis. Then we have our battle alphas. Um... I know. We'll name them. Reginald. Reginald Mortimer and um, Ignatius. <laughs> there we are. Reginald Mortimer and Ignatius. A fine pack of battle alphas. Hopefully they don't just die in the next episode or two. But I think this time we're going to go to a relatively safe place, the nor the Rising North Gate. Let's go check it out. Yawn. Stay alert. This is one of Rising's human guards. He's a human, and he doesn't look like he's been altered or augmented in any way. His weapon and armor are new, shiny, and well-made. He bows. He is showing you the respect you would expect from a normal human. From a normal human. Yes, Shaper? How are things going? Alright, for now. We're expecting more raids and attacks, but things have been quiet. What are you guarding? The Serviles in the farmlands. And the entrance to the Radiant College. We're supposed to let you enter, but anyone else needs to be kept back. Oh. Are we supposed to allow... Is he supposed to... Are the guards supposed to let Lucian enter the Radiant College or just Rising? Huh, interesting. As you recall, we actually have a mission from the Awakened to sabotage the Radiant College's research. <laughs> but let's not tell them. Alright, that's it. Alright, cool, thank you. You are at the north gate of the City of Rising. The stone walls of the city are tall and imposing. By the limited standards of these mountains, they look recently built, probably by heavy creation labor. Outside the gate, a number of wooden buildings have been hastily built, probably by those evicted from during the construction of the main city. There are pet large patches of farmland, developing crops newly shaped to grow in these mountains. Most of the beings outside the walls are serviles. They walk around slowly, staring at the ground. The few who dare to look up at you are nervous. The approach of a shaper worries them. Huh. Interesting. So not a very happy area. 
These buildings look like stone, but maybe it's just a limit to the graphical set. The tile set, if you like. Alright, this goes out to the mountain base. Alright, cool. But we need to check out this area for now. Oh, kitty cat. My cat's on my lap, sitting there, <laughs> purring. Alrighty, so let's check this area out. Oh, wait, there, oh, there's another guard. Alright. Oh, there's a servile. A servile. This is one of the dull, obedient serviles. It was probably either recently created by a shaper, or is the child of two recently created serviles. Serviles like this one are working hard to grow the crops and cut down the forest. It looks up at you, waiting for direction. Who is in charge here, servile? We listen to Trace. Trace come out of big place. The servile points at the rising gate. Says what we do, we do. Um... How have things been going lately? It looks nervous. After a bit of difficult thought, it says, I work, and then I eat, and I sleep. It good. It's hard to figure out how these simple creatures evolved into the independent and strong serviles you've been meeting. Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's Susha Island, pal. Come on, you, you know enough. I mean, maybe he's like, how did they get from this to that? What happened on Susha Island? What is the secret of Susha Island? Maybe like um, Xander. Maybe the, he's the servile staring at Xander. So we'll ask. So what do you think of the independent serviles? It looks confused. And it has no idea what you mean. All right. Thank you. Xander's like, you're going to get his little self in trouble. His goofy self. Or not goofy, but just simple, uneducated self. Uh, a living tool and a major healing pod. And eh, we don't need it. We're not gonna rob some survive. Oh, the rat! Oh, never mind. Too bad for you, there, rat. Oh, jeez, that rat <laughs> bit off more than it bit off more than it could chew. For real. Bar of iron and a pure steel ring. You know what I said? Okay, let's just borrow this. Take. They don't need it. Mwahaha. ha ha ha. We're overloaded now, though. Overburdened, if you like. And even if you don't. Alright, some mine crystal. Eh, grain. I don't think we need the grain. There must be orc somewhere I heard chewing. Unless Frostfang and Crisis are chewing gum for their winter fresh breath. Up oh, there's the orcs. No, no, no. Here. Over here. Y'all stay together. Oh, wow. Here's the guards. Yawn. Anything else from... Eh, no. I guess this is the guard station. Guard and guard. All right. What is over here? Oh, there's a servile. Rior. Rior. He's a blue one. Does that mean he's a war tra warbred servile? There is a servile in this small home. He has a blade and a baton in his belt. He is quickly packing up to leave. He looks up at you when you enter. Oh, good. The Shaper. I am Rior of the Takers. I wanted to speak of with you before I left. Why are you leaving? Well, I'm a spy for the Takers. My work is done. I want to get out of here before I'm hacked apart. <laughs> Reasonable enough. Have you been found out? No, but the war between the Takers and the Barzites is about to heat up. There will be mad creations roaming all over the lands. All right, thank you. That's interesting, good information. So what do you want to say to me? That you Shapers are doomed, but not all Shapers have to die. Those who reject their evil acts will be spared and allowed to work with us. Come to Zasas. Meet this with Cyrus. Learn how you might be spared. One day, I promise, it will be your only hope. You can't imagine the power we're building. And we will forgive your joining one of the other factions. It was a mistake. One that can be made up for. Hmm. I wonder if there's any difference be with the fact that we had joined the, the Awakened, which is, you know, while definitely hostile with the Takers and vice versa, is not completely 
in disagreement, but you know, I don't know. Alright, so where is Zasas? Through the pass to the north, and into the sandy wastes. You might want to avoid any serviles you find. You've probably heard that us takers are mad, and I think some of us are. But it was you who made us that way. You are a fool taker, and now I will kill- No, we're not going to do that. Alright, you've given your message, you can go. Alright then, I'm off. And he lifts his pack and runs out of the building. Alrighty. <laughs> Xander's like, man, what a jerk. He can forgive you for joining us? <sighs> Whatever. Should have kicked his... No, no, no. We, we can't kill messengers. Once we start doing that, then the bad days are here for good. For reals. This entry passage is meant to be extremely impressive. It isn't to you, but only because you've walked in the halls of the Shaper Council itself. Huge walls and its towers. No. Huge walls and statues tower to either side of you as you walk down the path. Braziers burn incense to either side. As you proceed, your skin starts to tingle, and your hair stands on end. Magic is heavy in the air. Obelisks to either side pronounce that you are approaching the Radiant College. Whatever that is. Well, we, we know what that is. The Radiant College. It's the center of Barzite research. Ooh, wow, what are you? Oh, just, oh, submission turrets. Yikes. Yes, here is the Radiant College. Let's just open this pathway up. An important place. Whether you're allied with the Barzites or not. Important. All right, let's see what's over here. So the, the couple of things I wanted to talk about. So the takers are of the opinion that while well, the shaper order has to go, the time of the shapers is gone, is, is done, not all the people who are actually a part of the shaper order have to die for this to be accomplished. If they are willing to turn against the shaper philosophy and order and help the takers, then they can be spared. And they'll even overlook the <laughs> Lucian joining one of the other factions. They don't seem... Not all the Takers are mad, it would seem. Although, he did say he thinks that some of the... Rior said that he thinks some of the Takers probably are mad. But he thinks that they were made so by the depravities that the Shapers put on them. Healing Spores... We'll wait for now. Still javelin. Huh, we might come back to this place. Hmm. Robe. Oh, there's a graveyard, a cemetery. Any readable graves? And it doesn't look like it. Quite a few, though. Are those serviles, or just barzites as such? Irrespective of who, what, you know, species. Learned Versa. This is a chemist shop. It looks as if it was only just built and stocked. Herbs and other, and other useful plants are everywhere. The shop is run by an old servile. He looks unhappy to see a shaper, but he's still willing to help you. I'm Learned Versa. Welcome to my shop. What do you do here? I make potions. That's what Barzal brought me here to do. He gives me orders and supplies, and I make potions and balms and concoctions for his experiments. And when I'm not busy, I do things for the serviles. Wow. So what sort of experiments is he doing? He must be from, what's it called, Susha Island. I can't say what sort of experiments. They are doing a lot of things in the Radiant College, shaper things, that things that I don't understand. It's all done to make themselves more powerful, though. Everything the Barzites do is done to make themselves stronger. Huh. What do the serviles mean? Cures for their diseases, balms to ease their sores and fatigue. At least no serviles here are sick yet. There's a sickness among the serviles to the northeast. It has moved, but not here so far. Hmm. But that's one of the things that, what's our face? Carnelian, the shaper in the Awakened, wants us to try to see if we can find a way to cure that disease, if, if possible. But so far, we've not seen anything that would indicate a solution. Hmm, is there anything you can help that you can make to help me? I I am busy, but I, 
I can't help. My orders are clear. I do know one special recipe. I can make a very strong healing potion. But the ingredients are rare. I need a pouch of swamp spores, a pouch of swamp spores, a healing pod or healing spores, and an amphora of wine. Let's record that right quick. All right, cool. That shouldn't be too hard. Once we find the amphora of wine, we can go back to where that one servile was, that chemist or alchemist, grab some more swamp spores, and then see what he versa can do for us. Oh, no, let's see. Buy? Let's say buy. Extremely cheap. Wow. Learned Versa has a decent stock of potions. You notice that his prices are very low. You aren't sure why, but you suspect that your being allied with the Awakened might have something to do with it. You might have something. So he is definitely an ally with the Awakened, or admires the Awakened. Wow, look at this. Extr this is as, the cheapest as they can get. You can't get cheaper stuff. Major healing spores are 90 coins. Speed spores, 48. Jeez. There's a bunch of essence pods. Restoration spores. Hmm. We'll buy some... We'll buy a shielding... Shielding spores right quick. Just to help support the local economy. And since he seems to be a pretty cool guy. Anything in here that we can take without stealing? And nothing that we want. Nope. Don't. Alright, cool. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, dude. I mean, sir. Alright, is this a, an inn? Zoka. This is one of the intelligent, independent serviles found only in these mountains. He's very strong, and his hands show the burns and calluses that come from years of hard work. He's angry, and he's also drunk. He looks blurrily up at you. Ah, shapely. Come to take more from Zoka, yes? Come to take what I have left? What, what work do you do? Let's try to, you know, change the topic. Nothing! Hard, had work! Zoka did good work. Shapers took it. Took it all. Curse the Shapers. You should be careful, though. Bad things could happen if the Shapers hear you say that. And kill me? I should be so lucky. <laughs> Alright, so why are you so angry that you're throwing caution to the wind? Zoka was smith. Blacksmith, good at it. Work hard, learn from a smith who was a smith on Susha Island. Then I lose smithy, taken from me. Barzal, go back on word. Curse him. Uh, yeah, he seems to have done that quite a bit. Why was your smithy taken from me? A human. A human wanted it. A human asked for it. A human took it. And that was not the worst. What was the worst thing? Guardian, who took smithy. His name was Krogst. He, I was too slow leaving, and I argued. So he broke my tools. I thought he was going to say he broke his hands. Never mind. <laughs> Jeez. Broke my tools. Used his spell and melted them. Now I need to replace them. If I can, or I am poor and without work. Curse Croxed. His cruelty. If only something would happen to him. I am not at all poor. I have things from Smithy. I could pay if something happened. Speaking like this is unwise, even drunk. Zoka may not be long for this world. Hmm. But you know what? <sighs> Should we? I mean, who knows what we have to do? Maybe we can just, you know, get the stuff back. Or get restitution. Yeah, right. Or maybe we can... Um, Lucian looks over and Xander's watching him. Remember, is that the way that uh, a shaper should act? with a servile, you're supposed to, you know, give and take fairly. Of course, the takers of the, the Awakened, no, the Barzites don't believe that. But maybe the Awakened need to put that into effect. Let's see. Maybe I I might make something happen to Crocs for pay, though. You know, fair is fair. Awakened standards. Zoka stares down at the table. I didn't ask you. I didn't ask Shaper. And I'm not telling you Crocs is patrolling in the woods to the north. Ah. He's like, I. Now he's sort of sobered up a, 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 a skosh. <laughs> he's like, um, hmm, this is dangerous. How about you? Dejena. This inn, the small inn, is run by one lone servile. She seems very overworked. She still has time, however, to pay attention to a shaper. Shaper, welcome. I am Dejena. 
I hope you mean well, but to mean well to my humble inn. Something in her tone indicates that shapers have not been kind to her recently. What services do you offer? Well, we can let you stay in one of the humble rooms for the night. It is only ten, um, five coins for you. We also have ale. Well, let's get some ale. Thirsty work traveling around. You have a drink. It is ale. The mug is clean and the beverage is reasonably free of muck. You spend a while having a good, relaxing drink. Yay. Relaxing drink. Now that we're all friends, does something about me worry you? <laughs> Xander rolls his eyes when you ask the question. No, Shaper, it's just just nothing. I'm sorry, Shaper. I'm glad to have you here. No, but we're... Lucian's trying to help, and so he's trying. He's really getting into the hole. No, but really, something's wrong. What? What is it? I'm sorry, Shaper. I have just been distracted since my mate, Tyree, was taken away. He's in the rising jails. I don't know whether he's a well or not, and it worries me. Huh. Well, if I see him, I could relay a message from him to you. Oh, I would not dare bother a shaper with my petty trouble. I'm sorry I brought it up. Well, actually, um, Lucy and pried it out of her. But, but if you did see someone while passing through, that would be a kindness. All right, all right. But if you did see someone while passing through, I guess he, she's saying if you saw someone while passing through and told them to go check on, maybe? I don't know. All right, cool, cool. So, yep, we have another quest. So we've gained two quests here in this inn. Shaper inspection. Oh, come on, y'all. Anything in here? Nope, nothing. Alrighty. Get in there. Oh my gosh, dude. Get out of the way. Get in there. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, why not? It's locked for reals. <sighs> Ooh, there's some shiny stuff in here. A fine cloak, robe, gemstones, and a... what do you call it? Oh, what are these things called? A canister. Let's actually save our game right quick. Right quick. Let's check out what this canister actually is. Ah, here. So if you wanted to improve your co your battle magic, you could do that. So, yep. Not that interesting, really. <laughs> oh, good kitty. My kitty's sitting on my lap right now. <laughs> she's been... I've been out of town for a couple weeks, so... She's been really, you know... <laughs> Really, you know, interested on in sitting in my lap and you know, being patted more than usual. Alright, how about you? Wend. This tiny shop is warm and filled with delicious smells. After all your time wandering in the mountains, the presence of real food is a delightful surprise. The shop is run by a servile. That's no surprise. Back home, shapers frequently use some of the brighter serviles as cooks. She seems surprised to see you. Greetings. I'm Wend. Welcome to my shop. Um, let's see. I would like to buy some food. Let's see. Oh, a cake. Let's get a cake. Yeah, yeah, cake. Woo! Hopefully it's not a lie. No, it's not a lie. She's probably a good cook. How long have you been cooking here? Ah, almost since Sparzal founded Rising. But I was not always here. My old shop has to be torn down to make room for his palace. Her face remains carefully expressionless as she speaks. Oh. What can you tell me about events in Rising? I'm sorry, Shaper. I'm a cook. I do not pay attention to those things, but I... She stops and thinks. Never mind. You can't tell us? Nope. Alright. Huh. Maybe... Huh. I don't know. Maybe something has to change before she'll tell us more. I get it. They don't want to get in trouble. Who are you? Oh, come on. Hold still. You. Hey. Lem. This man looks like a traveling merchant. This is a dangerous occupation right now, but he seems to have survived. He has a blade at his belt and a large pack on his back. He bows to you. It's a difficult maneuver because of that heavy pack. He manages to remain standing, though. I'm Lem. I'm a tinker and trader. Need anything? 
How do you manage to be a merchant in these dangerous times? Stealth. I stab things if I have to, but most of the time, creations just leave me alone. Plus, I spend a lot of time around Madab. It's very safe there. He leans close to you and says quietly, Plus, I'm helped by the Awakened, like you are. And they asked me to come up here and look around. I've never seen this dialogue, actually. Because I always come through here. Normally when I play this, I'm still unaligned when I come through here. Huh. Are you with the Awakened? Shh, yes. Are you spying up here? Were you listening? Shh, yes. What are you trying to find out here? The Barzites are making a lot of powerful creations. They don't have enough shapers to control them. We think they've made some sort of device or machine which controls the creations inside the city. If you could find your way into Rising and find the room the creations are controlled from, it would be really helpful. Okay, we can do that. What have you found out? Not a lot. The Barzites here and the Takers to the North are both crazy, but we knew that. The Barzites are trying to make themselves more and more powerful, even as it makes them crazier and crazier. The Takers are making creations which can make more powerful creations. It will go out of control, we think. Not much good news, I'm afraid. Hmm. Huh. Kind of a very similar take on those two factions that those that the shapers at that, you know, loyalist camp had. Another question. Let's see, do -ba do Can you give me any equipment for as assistance? He frowns. I do have some things. I use them to evade, but hmm. Pinner did tell me to help you if I could. So he removes a gem from his pack and hands it to you. In a tight spot, this could help you escape. Alright. I want to just find go back to let's business. Um yes, uh, merchant, I would love to buy some stuff. Oh, good, thank you. Shaper. Lem carries around a lot of mixed items on his back. There are all sorts of useful tools and things, but not much of value to an adventurer. You notice that he seems to be trying to give you some very cheap prices. Again, extremely cheap. I did, then, then, I, uh, I, did, I did not know this. This is interesting. Oh, you can buy Reaper. There's some Reaper thorns here. A shielding band. Samaritan sandals. Wow. Shaper equipment. Living tools for 18. Wow. Let's buy a couple. We spent five of them. Hmm. Major healing spores. We'll buy those as well. Very good. Uh, shielding band? Yeah, we don't need that. Samaritan sandals are nice, but I don't think we're going to buy those. All right, cool. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you, good merchant. Stability boots. Plus one to dexterity. Oh, so... Oh, well, maybe we, we should. Business. Samaritan sandals? Let's buy them. Damn. If not, you know, whatever. If it's a mistake, who cares? Plus two to healing craft. I thought so. That is actually quite good. These are fine, but these are better for a, for like a, a guardian or a um, agent. These will let us heal our creations much better, much more efficiently. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, good merchant. <laughs> Just a servile? All right. Not a named servile. Let's check out over here. These are the fields it would seem in the woods. The serviles are working at. There's one of the guards. I think we talked to that guard already. Come over here. And we have another quest to go check out the control arrangements that the Barzites have inside Rising. So, pretty exciting. Oh, this is cool. I've never gotten that quest before. Not to my knowledge, anyways. I have played with the Awakened, but I don't think I talked to that guy as a member of the Awakened. The Servile is sleeping. Can you leave it alone? Oh, this is the Servile quarters. Alrighty. Uh, this must be the gate to Rising itself. Yep, submission turrets. Alright, let's just check out the rest of this map. Get it all mapped out. I think that's everything. Alrighty. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, cool. Well, I think what we'll do is... Actually, 
head back to Madab and drop our stuff that we picked up. We picked up some heavy stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. The it's interesting that Awakener have spies all over that area, spies and sympathizers. Then again, the Takers had a spy there too, but he beat feet because stuff's about to heat up between those two factions. They already don't like each other, but they're about to get more violent apparently. Let's go over here and pick up the mine crystal so we can drop it all in one one fell swoop together. There we are. St stability boots, I think we'll sell those actually. Pure steel ring, we'll get rid of that. Doobie-doobie-doo, Tinker's Loves, we'll hold on to that. A Madness Gem. It's actually a pretty useful item, because you can use it to screw with the enemies, especially if you've been upgrading your dexterity and, I think, javelin use. Major Healing Pod, let's actually um, drop... Let's drop seven of these, I don't need that many on us right now. We are definitely making ourselves overburdened. Yeah, that's good. Alright, cool. Well, next time we'll go sell those boots. Or we'll drop them here. One of the two. Alright, so on that note, I want to say thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Gene Forge 2. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. That was pretty cool. I, I like that area. That's an interesting little area. And we got several quests, if you look at it. Yeah. Oh, spying and get. Oh man, we have to go spying Geth. That's right. In the research hall in Geth for the Shaper loyalists, we said we would do that. Speak with Tari. Oh yeah, his mate, her mate. Find the control center. We just got that. Hurt Krogst. Hopefully we don't have to kill him. But I don't know. We'll see. And spying on Rising. North of Gas, he asked you to enter Rising, see what the defenses look like, and return to him. Oh, that's right. Man, we have a lot of stuff to do. Well, we have a lot of stuff to do spy-wise. Pretty cool. All right, cool. Yes, destroy Barzai research. And on that note, I want to say take care, y'all.